Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO video and this is another arcade reaction part number four of the uh, reactions that I'm doing of the arcade servants and I'm going to resume and uh, you know like talk about the noble phantasms and all the other stuff. So I'm guessing it will take two more um, videos like this video and another video most probably for me to actually complete all the arcade NP reactions. So let's see, you know, uh, let's react to this, uh, you know, today's uh, the videos that I'll be reacting to. And uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm guessing it will be completed in one more day. So I, I was not planning on actually recording this today, you know. But like the anime that I was supposed to react to kind of got delayed for a week. So and it really feels weird to actually not <laughs> like, you know, record a video uh, <laughs> because I've been recording video every day and it kind of feels weird. So I thought, why not do this today? So, yeah, let's get started. Oh, before we start, we're almost very close to 1K subscribers. I think 101 subscribers left. So if you have not subscribed and you are new to the channel, definitely do so. It will help a lot. So yeah all right let's get started okay before we start uh, i remember i stopped in the previous video at uh, arjuna but i can see that the playlist i'm reacting to i'll be linking down the playlist in the description box the original videos that i'm watching and uh, like i can see two new servants have been actually added one of them is tamamono my lancer and another is you may rain summer version so I'm going to look at their, uh, you know, like uh, interactions and NP first, and then I'll be resuming after Arjuna. So first, let's check out Tamamono my Lancer. So here we go. So as I always do, I'll be reacting to it and then have a small little discussion, and then I'll resume the next one. And yeah, so let's get started. Here we go. Tamamono my Lancer. is a bit loud okay all right here we go <laughs> wow yes this is tamamo obviously <laughs> She's quirky as hell, and I love it. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Alright. Here we go, the kick. Here comes the kick. Oh, what the? What was that? <laughs> the last thing. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, as, as always, like we can get, understand this is Tamamo we're talking about. So obviously she'll be, you know, a bit quirky. And, you know, I liked uh, her, like, you know, the summoning scene where she kind of like, you know, shoves her umbrella towards you. <laughs> and, uh, like, you know, like uh, her quirky way of speaking. And then the last, you know, like the noble phantasm. Uh, it, it was great and tamamo lancer um, i remember i never really, like i have tamamo lancer i never really had the plan of getting her i remember i was quite new to the game and tamamo lancer was probably the first summer servant you know like the, from the servant pool the first summer uh, event that fgo ever had i think yeah it was tamamo and a few other characters as well i cannot remember i think kyohime was there as well yeah kyohime a few other servants so i i i really had no intention of getting tamamo i just you know like rolled in the summer banner just because it was the first swimsuit event that we got in fgo na so i just you know like summoned and i got her and i got a few other servants as well i was quite i remember i was quite happy after getting like you know quite a few servants and uh, yeah. Oh, I remember I got Mordred as well. Mordred Rider. Yeah, she was also there. So, <laughs> yeah, like, but I really like it. She, she's a solid Lancer, you know. Um, she's a solid single target NP Lancer. And she, her skills are quite, um, 
handy as well because you know, she has a charm skill has an invincible skill even though it kind of makes stuns her in the next um turn but still she comes quite handy in f a few times so yeah so that was my story of tamam answer <laughs> getting her uh, like it'll seem kind of what can i say uh, what can i say like you know like unfair because i have I've, i've seen uh, like and i've heard a lot of people and really wanted her and did not get her and they were like oh my god like you know i didn't get her and like here i am i didn't even want her and i got her but now i really appreciate her because you know at, the, at that time i really did not um, you know as i said before i really was not that much of of tamamo fan but as time went on i'm quite a big fan of her now so now i'm very appreciative that i actually got her at that time like you know so yeah anyways okay that was tamamo uh, lancer okay let's go with you may ren uh the summer version and obviously she's a welfare servant and we're also going to get her in the next event at the summer she has an in... what the she wants me to be the slave <laughs> what the hell python <laughs> Wow, she has a cool um lance spear, yeah. That's a cool weapon. Wow, what the? Okay, um I don't think I ever saw her noble phantasm before. I feel like even in the mobile version i think so i really cannot remember that's why i was quite surprised seeing her noble phantasm on here and um, because i never really saw it before as far as i can remember and she has quite an interesting character design here you know and i feel like uh, the actual you may ren you know the consort you assassin i feel like this like you know this character design is even better than that I don't know it's just my opinion. Uh, I really like this character design and she has a very cool um, spear. Like damn that looks cool. And okay one thing I've seen a lot of people actually refer to as python. Now I know what python is. Like it's like a playful like you know word play of senpai. Like you know senpai python. Like it's kind of a quirky way to call your senpai python. I know that. But um I really like you know I've seen a lot of people actually call her Python or something I I I really don't understand maybe that's like uh something that I don't know is that like an inside joke that we're going to get later on because I never really um like at, at least in NA up until now I never really saw pe people uh, like you know uh, either of the characters any of the characters referred to her as Python before So let me know you know I'm I'm sure I think this is like an inside joke for uh, which is probably going to come later on you know like like calling her python or something like that so I've seen a lot of people actually call her python and I I was always like wondering like why do people call her python like is there a specific reason for it but I'm sure it's like an inside joke that we're probably going to get later on when the summer event comes in NA you know I don't know But yeah, all right. That was you, May Ren, and uh, Tamamo Lancer. Um, okay, uh, now I'm going to resume from the previous day's uh, video. After Arjuna, we're going to check out um, who is this? Ah, Nero Claudius. All right, let's start. I definitely want to hear uh, one of one Umu at least. I'd be very disappointed if she doesn't say that. <laughs> All right, here she is. Servant Saber, Nero Claudius. Yobigoeni Ojisui Sanshita. There you go. Yes. Thank you. I I I really wanted a Numu and I got a Numu. <laughs> I love a noble phantasm. It's amazing visually, and in arcade version it look, looks even better. Oh 
All right, there you go. Um, yeah, uh, Nero has been an all-time favorite of mine, and obviously I'm quite biased about her because of quite a few reasons. I love her voice acting, that's number one. Um, I love her quirky nature, number two. Uh, obviously, Umu is another reason, like the whole Umu. That kind of like you know is similar to like you know her voice actor because her voice actor nails it completely, like, you know. Uh, another reason is that she is my first four star servant in FGO. If you if you uh, exclude the you know, mandatory uh, four star servant that you get uh, in the first summoning, if you you know uh, exclude that, she is my first genuine four star servant that I got, and you know and um, yeah, these are like the reasons why I'm quite biased about her and. Uh, <laughs> obviously like i love nero as as a character and uh, yeah <laughs> that's it so um and as, as i said like you know i love her noble phantasm as well it, it's visually very appealing because um you can see like you know in the background and everything and the way and not only this i even love uh, uh nero bright's noble phantasm like kind of similar but it's like very different and uh yeah i'm guessing the, is the next one nero bright no it's god uh i'm guessing we're going to see uh, nero bright's noble phantasm as well so yeah but yeah that's nero and uh, boy i'm I, i'm i'm pretty sure like majority of fgo players now love nero uh i'm pretty sure <laughs> and yeah like i'm no exception so that was Nero Claudius. All right, let's check out the next one. Uh, Skahat, Lancer. Okay, I have a story about her. Ha, boy, and it's it's not a it's not a fun story. <laughs> I'll talk about it after it ends. <laughs> Oh boy. Skasaha. Is that how her name is pronounced? Have I been pronouncing it wrong the whole time? Skasaha. She's very strong as a lancer. Especially after Skadi came in, you know? <laughs> she's, she's fighting. Cool caster, wow. Damn, the smart face. Alright, um, okay, am I being, am I, uh, uh, like, pronouncing her name wrong all the time? She said Skahasa. And I call her Skahat. Is that wrong? Or I think it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of difficult to pronounce, like, what, just a sec. She's, let me check it out again. What's the actual pronunciation? Skasaha. Okay, that's kind of difficult to actually pronounce Skasaha. Alright, okay. Mm, so yeah. Alright, so <laughs> the story I have about her is <laughs> um remember in JP she came out uh like uh no not she but her costume came out the bunny costume in jp <laughs> I, like, you know I, I remember after it came out i was so hyped about that i was like oh my god i'm definitely getting scarred and her banner came you know in one of the events i think and <laughs> i had no plans for getting her but after seeing her costume and the whole like you know like the way what can i say like <laughs> the interactions in the costume like the whole pion pion thing that she does you know <laughs> i was like i'm definitely getting scarred because i want that costume and for that i think i i, I had no plan on spending something on her and i spent i think a lot of quarts on her and she never came I was so freaking disappointed and I I I probably will again roll try to roll for her when her costume comes in NA you know obviously she'll get a banner at that moment hopefully I get her because 
<laughs> that costume is one of the best things I've ever seen in FGO. Not not only the costume, like that's not the full thing. I love the whole pion pion that she does. And <laughs> I'm sorry, like you know, like that's that's definitely my motivation for trying to get her. <laughs> and obviously, I have Ka uh, like you know Skadi. Like she'll be a great addition if if I actually get her. So, but yeah, let's, yeah, let's see what actually happens. If I have enough, I'll, I'll definitely try for her later on. So, all right. Okay. Yeah. So the Noble Phantasm was simple enough, you know, and like a smug face in the end. That was interesting. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she, like, it, it's really interesting that she's quite an old servant, but she's still so relevant, especially after Skadi came, you know? Uh, she's still one of the strongest, uh, one of the strongest lancers in game. So, yeah. All right, the next one, Kintoki. Okay. <sighs> All right, let's see our golden boy. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> there he is, the golden boy. <laughs> yes. I remember I used her a lot uh, previously, and but nowadays I don't even see him. You know, in my friend list. Like, when he came out, he was, like, you know, I saw a lot of people use her and, like, you know, my friend list had Kintoki, like, a lot of Kintokis, you know, in the Berserker slot. But then, like, I don't know, like, after, I think Raiko came in and a lot of other Berserkers came in. Now, Arjuna came, you know, Arjuna Alter. Like, I don't even see him at all nowadays. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm guessing we're again going to see, uh, like, you know, him after uh, we get 5.5 after we get his costume i'm sure she, he'll start popping up again here and there so yeah all right that was sakata kintoki and uh, yeah our golden boy loves everything golden <laughs> even his noble phantasm is golden everything is golden and uh, yeah Mm. Obviously, his his name also has golden in it, you know. Kin toki, kin means gold in Japanese. So yeah. All right, the next one. Um. Oh, is this Da Vinci Lily? Yes, Da Vinci Lily. Here we go. Oh, this is the welfare one. I think I. <laughs> Wait, this is a rider, isn't it? Yeah. And she's a welfare servant in arcade. <laughs> she, her noble fantasy is very interesting. She. Okay. And not this one. I'm not talking about this one. This one she basically launches. On. I think in the mobile version, her uh, noble phantasm is she kind of, <laughs> like, you know, uh, rides her car and goes away somewhere, and it's really very interesting and um, like you know, like visually very appealing. Uh, her whole noble phantasm. I'm talking about the Lily, you know, uh, no Da Vinci Riders noble phantasm. And here, I think in arcade version, she's a welfare servant. So like, um, so this I'm guessing this is the same as the rider that we have in uh, the mobile version, who is obviously not a welfare servant. So yeah, I think so. Okay, so yeah, so that was Da Vinci, and um, her voice actress is uh one of my favorites, Maya Sakamoto, and uh, I love her voice acting, you know. And uh, yeah, Da Vinci herself is very, like, you know, a very cool character. She has been there from the beginning, you know, of the game. 
and now obviously she's kind of different because she's you know like the same da vinci it's the same da vinci but still a little bit different than the previous one but yeah her personality and everything is uh the same so <laughs> yeah all right um oh and i think we're getting a da vinci um welfare servant in jp i think yeah that's good because i don't have any da vinci so we'll take two years you know because uh, you know the jp events kind of come after two years in na but we'll eventually get her people who don't have her you know uh, as a welfare servant so that's good all right the next one jolter <coughs> Oh boy, I'm looking forward to this. I uh, can't wait for her to, um, <laughs> you know, insult me. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I'm Wow The animation is I've heard this noble phantasm so many times She's one of the most My most used servants Oh boy Jolter she, she has a special place in my heart Because um, she's, I think she is my most used servant and, uh, yeah, that's definitely it. I think I have, have her at bond 11 now and I'm kind of trying to get her to bond 12. So like she has been there from the beginning and I was, you know, she came pretty early in game and, uh, yeah, I saved for her and I got her in, uh, one of the most miraculous way, um, I, I said this before, I think, for people who don't know, I saved, at that time I was very new to FGO and I think I saved quite a bit for my standards at that time, I think it was like 200 quarts and uh, I, I, because I wanted her because a lot of people said she's a Sundre and she's one of the best servants, so I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting her and uh, I rolled and rolled and rolled, she didn't come, I was sad, heartbroken, I had no quarts left, I think I had two quarts left and then I saw that in my piggy bank uh, not actual piggy bank <laughs> i don't use actual money that not that you know in uh, the the saint quartz fragments that we have collected you know i think i had seven or eight of them and i exchanged it for a single quartz and i was like like yeah like if I, i'll i'll you know what can i say like i'll i'll try till the end to get her and then you, and i used the three quartz for a single pool and she came <laughs> and i was i was pretty scared at that moment because she i think she, she had another banner after one year so it's, it was like you have to get her now otherwise you won't get her after like you know it won't get her for a year so i was very desperate and i was very sad when i did not get her in the beginning but then the last three quarts she you know answered my calls and she came in and from then then onwards <laughs> she has always been uh, in all of my team compositions in any way, you know, and she's pretty, she's very, what can I say, you know, strong as a buster, buster servant, and she's still so relevant, you know, so yeah, that was Jolter. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm so used to her, like, you know, noble phantasm that, <laughs> like, you know, whenever I hear the noble phantasm, her, like, you know, it, I instantly like you know I remember all the time that I've used her and all anyways so yeah that was Jolter and uh, yeah all right the next one oh Gilda Race I, I hope that's how his name is pronounced <laughs> funny that he comes after Jolter oh well and this is a crazy one <laughs> the Gilda Race caster <laughs> Okay. Boy. 
I'm done. I'm. You know what? I'm really freaked about. Freaked out about him. His hands. His hands freak me out. I don't know why. Like, look at those hands. <laughs> He's attacking Artoria, and now it's Waver. I don't know why, but his hands freak me out. I, I really, you no, know, his hands look weird. Look at his hands. Like, his hand is bigger than his face. What the hell? Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you know, her, her, his hands really freak me out. So yeah, that was Gilder Ace, and. Uh, I don't know what to say about him, like, <laughs> boy, like, we are very much familiar with him from Fate Zero, and, uh, yeah, what can I say, sad turn of events, he actually becomes like this, you know, so, yeah, that was Gilder Ace, alright, let's check out the next one, um, Waver! Like, it's interesting, like, he's still one of the strongest servants. Like, he came out so early. <laughs> wow. Alright. He's reading Gilgamesh. I can kind of understand why, you know? Wow! Whoa! Oh, that's very interesting. His, his Arcade Noble Phantasm is very interesting, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that is a waiver. Now, like, like all of us knows he's he's one of the not one of the he is kind probably one yeah one of the one of the strongest support servants and like unfortunately i i tried for her him before but i never got him and he never spooked me like you know so many servants spooked me before like i have sansang at np2 she spooked me twice and uh, i have i think um nightingale at np2 she spooked me once and there's like a lot of five star servants that actually spooked me but he never did <laughs> but but obviously next year uh for the uh five star selected ticket that we're going to get for the fifth no fifth yeah fifth anniversary i'm definitely choosing him i'm i'm sure everyone's going to choose him those, those who don't have him and uh, yeah i'll get him finally but but if he spooks me before that like I'll welcome him. Welcome him. I can use the SSR ticket for someone else, but I doubt that's going to happen. I'm not that lucky. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's interesting that he's beating up Gilgamesh because you know of what happened in Fate Zero. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, that was interesting. I, I like his, his Noble Phantasm, especially his arcade version of Noble Phantasm. So, all right. Okay, the next one. Chevalier Dion. I think that's how his name is pronounced. I might be wrong, so yeah. All right. <coughs> All right, here he is. Chevalier, Chevalier Dion. All right. Chevalier de Ion. Wow. Wow. Oh, so pretty. Haha. <laughs> 
Okay, this noble phantasm is very pretty. Now, um, okay, so I think they never mentioned if it, this is like you know the servant is a he or a she. Like everyone calls him as a male, you know, like all of us does so. But it never was mentioned in the game. I think you know uh, if he's a male or a female. And I know that I think um, his original, like you know, like his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like you know, him as a real person was a male. I think you know, Chevalier Dion. But obviously, we know uh, FGO gender bent servant. So since they never mentioned, you know, the gender of Chevalier Dion. Is like uh, what can I say? Question mark in FGO. I think so. Like, you know, if I'm wrong, let, correct me in the comment section. So I think they never mentioned in the game if uh, he, like, you know, if Chevalier Dion is a he or a she. But his, since his, you know, the, the real person that he's based off is a male, I think everyone calls him a he. I think. I don't know. I might be wrong. You know. So yeah. Anyways, that was Chevalier Dion, and uh, <laughs> he's my first four-star servant, the servant that you get from the, you know, the first uh, summons that you do. And um, I burned him. <laughs> I don't know why I did it at that time. <laughs> you know, I think I, I got a few five-star servants at that time, and I think I, I don't know what went through my mind, I, probably the rare prism. I thought that oh my god I can get a rare prism I barely even use him so let me just burn him or something and I burnt him and I regretted it for quite a while because like now like I've been playing this game for three more than three years I know that you should never burn a servant uh, even if you don't use him or her you know you should never do that so unless and until you have a lot of copies so I regretted it since then but but he spooked, spooked me later on so I was like oh well I burnt him and he came again anyways so <laughs> yeah boy okay so that was uh Chevalier Dion and his noble fantasy is very pretty you know like uh like lilies and everything so it, it, it looks even better in um, the arcade version because it's all animated so yeah all right the next one Marie Antoinette okay let's go I also have Marie Antoinette, you know, as well. So I think she also spooked me. Like I never tried for tried for her. So yeah, she spooked me quite a few times. I think. What? <laughs> okay. Wait, who is she beating? <laughs> is that Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, this is another pretty noble phantasm. Like, look at this. Like, I... Wow. Yeah, this is another pretty noble phantasm. Very pretty. And, uh, yeah, it looks great to actually see so many, so much eyes, you know, and the, like this uh, ice horse she's riding on. And uh, yeah, I have her. I never tried to get her, but she came anyways. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really, really use her, I think. Yeah, she's just there. I leveled her up, but I never used her. So yeah, that's Marie Antoinette. All right, the next one, John the Ark. Boy, okay. There it is, the ruler card. Servant, ruler, Janu Dark. Boy, they kite. Honto ni yokatta. Okay. Ni kotoba no mama ni. Ah. She's uh, quite tanky, you know. Very tanky. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. 
she is quite tanky and her skills are very um what can i say uh, good for stalling and she is very relevant even now and i have her and uh, i think um like you know like i yeah she she also spooked me before like <laughs> i remember i i was summoning in the sanzang banner when i think the journey to the west event was going on very long ago uh when like you know i i think i i built i was quite new to fgo at that time and <clears throat> the journey to the west event was going on i summoned in the banner in hopes of getting sanzang but she spooked me and uh, i was like okay like it's good like you know and uh, yeah she she she's very tanky she's very strong and i think we're going to get a costume a, a spirit on dress later on and i love that spirit on dress so much it looks so good and i'm really waiting for that when it will come to na so yeah it, it looks so damn amazing i really love that dress i'm really looking forward to it so yeah that is uh jandi arc oh and <laughs> funny thing uh, as i said like you know i tried to her in the uh, like and you know, i got her in the sanzang banner i never got sanzang in that banner but later on sanzang spooked me two times so <laughs> you know like it's all well and good i guess so yeah that was jandi arc and her voice actor maya sakamoto one of like, you know the more, my most favorite voice actress and uh, Yeah, I like her as a character as well, you know. It's like, you know, all the Jan faces, I like them. So, yeah, that was Jan the Arc. Okay, the next one, Gilda Rays, and this is um <laughs> Saber, the not the insane one. <laughs> okay. Oh god, what's happening? Why is it buffering? Mm, just a sec. Okay, there you go. It actually feels weird to see uh in Gilderay Saber because his caster version is so insane that it actually feels weird to see him as a proper knight. <laughs> like look at him. I can't remember his noble phantasm at all. What what is happening? Um My internet is acting up. Sorry about that. Okay, I think ah uh, oh there you go. Thank God. <laughs> All right, for a moment there I kind of forgot why is this quality so bad? What is this? I think my internet is kind of Oh my god. Okay, um <clears throat> So yeah, uh <clears throat> uh I never like I kind of forgot about his novel phantasm. And uh, it's kind of very simple, you know. I I never used him before and uh, I think I I never leveled him up either, I think. Yeah, like he's still there. I should I I would probably do that later on because of the strengthening like you know event uh, the strengthening sections and all we can get some quarts for that. So huh, I'll do that like you know eventually. So yeah, that was Gilder Ace. Nothing much to say about him because I barely even use him and his normal phantasm is pretty simple. All right, the next one. Salter. <laughs> okay, we got one her costume recently. And I love it. It's so good. <clears throat> There she is. Shoka ni oji sanjo shita. Kisama ga watashi no master to iu yatsu ka? Boy. Yes. Okay. Are you my master? Oh. Well. She's beating up Medusa. Makes sense. 
Okay. Boy. Okay, uh, Salter. She he has she has been here for quite a while, you know, from the almost the beginning, and I never got her, but I used one of the SR tickets to get her, you know, and those SR selection selection tickets, and I have her. That that's why I have her. Now, here's the thing. I actually like you know like I think when she she was you know in, in game when it was very quite a while ago, uh, when the game barely started. Um, obviously Artoria Pendragon, the normal Ar Ar Artoria Saber, you know, the normal Saber, 5 star Saber, you know, she was also there, she, the, this uh, Salter was also there, and I think at that moment, Artoria was one of the weakest servants in game. I know, she got a lot of strengthening quests, not a lot, but quite a few strengthening quests, and her, she got buffed, and now, after Castoria came, she's quite strong, you know. Uh, saber, like you know, the normal saber, uh, Artoria saber, the five star one. So I remember, you know, like when I started playing the game, like there was this people were saying that oh my god, saber, Artoria saber, is so bad that our Salter is stronger than her, being a, like you know, even though she is a four star servant. And I was like, what? Like, why is... Like, I, I found it very confusing because Saber is supposed to be the face of fate, you know, in a way. Saber, Rin, and uh, Sakura, they're supposed to be the, what do you call it, the main face of the Fate franchise. So I was very, like, you know, confused. I was like, why is Saber so weak in this game? But now, as I said, like, you know, she got quite a few of, quite a few buffs and everything. And after Castoria came in, she's quite strong now. Her, like, you know, skill kit uh, got, uh, you know, changed, I think. And, uh, yeah, she's quite strong now. But at that time, I was, like, I was flabbergasted. I was, like, why? Like, why is Saber so weak here? But, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kind of something that I remembered. And, uh, yeah, that was Salter. And she, she's still f quite strong, you know, especially her... Um, Buster Noble Phantasm, it hits hard, and uh, yeah, she's 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 a solid saber. Mm. Okay, the next one. Oh, Hassan, here we go. Hassan of the Cursed Arm. Honestly speaking, when you know when he was in fate, <laughs> boy. Servant Assassin. Kage yori kiden no yobi goe o kiki todoketa. All right, there he is. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. Okay, I I love his noble phantasm. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Yes. <laughs> I love a no live I really like his noble phantasm. In mobile version and obviously in arcade version I I saw it now. It's great. And uh, now I'm a visual novel player for the Fate franchise and when I played um I remember I was quite freaked out by Hassan. <laughs> you know? And uh, I really did not like him that much, but like in Babylonia, really, you know, uh, it was Babylonia, wasn't it? No, wait a minute. No, not Babylonia. What the hell am I saying? Camelot. Oh God, I mixed it up. Um, Camelot. You know, uh, after playing Camelot, yeah, like I, I, I really changed. Like everyone, like I'm sure, like I don't know, everyone who was kind of skeptical about him, really changed their mind after. Camelot and he's, he's really he's a really nice servant, you know, so <laughs> Yeah All right, that was Hassan Okay, the next one. Oh my god <laughs> Boy Gilgamesh come on. Let's see <laughs> Okay, let's see
Okay, I'm sure he's going to call us Zashu, you know, and I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now this is out of here. <laughs> I love his. <laughs> My God, the way he looks at you, like in like one of the most insignificant trash on the earth. Oh my god. You know what? I, I prefer his Noble Phantasm in the mobile version because after, especially after it got uh, the animation update. And in the arcade version is quite like, you know, I don't know, normal. But, but it's cool to see like, you know, the animations him actually taking out. Yeah. But still, I, I think his the Noble Phantasm in the mobile version is really nice as well. But if you know com comparing to it to this so anyways okay so <laughs> whoa gilgamesh um ah what can i say like you know like <laughs> oh boy i <laughs> like i'm sure everyone has a weird relationship with gilgamesh i'm sure like this is like a gilgamesh like you know <laughs> your impressions of gilgamesh comes in stages and <laughs> Like, you know, like, there was this first stage when I played the visual novel, I was like, who the hell is this guy? I hate him! You know, he's one of the most trashiest characters, uh, like, you know, an anime can ever had. And, you know, I hated him so much that I put Gilgamesh on the same level as Shinji. And I, I, I hated Gilgamesh, I hated Shinji so much. And... <laughs> funny thing like now that i look at it like you know everything uh, like today uh, at current time like <laughs> I, I i laugh like you know i was i'm like how i have changed and how the game like you know not only the game like you know how how fgo changed him in such a weird way like if 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 the current me went into the in, in the past and told the past me that you know what Gilgamesh is going to be your most favorite male servant. <laughs> I'd slap myself at that moment. I'd be like, "What the hell? Like, what are you even saying?" I slap my future self at that moment. <laughs> oh my god! Like, uh, as I was saying, Gilgamesh, this like you know, there's a stages where you your of your impressions, how your impressions stage change about Gilgamesh. When I played the visual novel, I hated him like this like you know and then when i played fate zero i was like you know what yeah he is i don't like him but he's okay you know but i don't like him that was basically me when i saw fate zero <laughs> and then i played fate grand order babylonia king and i was like oh my god he's the best <laughs> I'm sure most of, like, you know, most of the, like, you know, the people who is acquainted with Gilgamesh and who have seen the anime, the, like, you know, uh, Fate Zero and Fate Grand Order Babylonia, I'm sure most of them are like this. And, uh, yeah, boy, like, <laughs> oh, what, what can I say? Like, and, like, in this, like, you know, obviously in this scene, like, you know, in this arcade uh, uh, video that we saw, like, like, he, he has a weird type of a, what can I say, <laughs> charm? I don't think, know if I should call it that, but, you know, um, my god, like, like, from where he starts introducing himself, his mannerisms, he's like all folded up, you know, and he's kind of doing this, like, acting as if, like, you know, like, he's looking at you from above. Like always, like Gilgamesh is always like that, like, you know, looking at you from above. Like, we are insignificant ants in front of him. So, and obviously, like, you know, Zashu is a mandatory, and his laugh is also a mandatory, the way he laughs, my god. That's like, <laughs> I don't know, like, what to say. Like, you know, that's like one of the best things. <laughs> and, 
like, you know even during his noble phantasm like the way he looks at you like my god like he <laughs> he makes you feel as if you're the like, you know, you, you're nothing you're, you're just specks of dust for him <laughs> boy and uh, yeah he's my favorite servant now um obviously i prefer um uh, caster gilgamesh a lot more than him and uh, like if you talk about him morally you know gilgamesh archer is obviously not good you know because of a lot of things uh he was arrogant at that time and uh, but later on after like you know, everything happens and the whole like you know babylonia after enkudu uh loses his life he himself you know matures become a good king a wise king and that's when Gil gilgamesh caster comes in and uh, so morally speaking obviously gilgamesh archer uh, is not you know, that much of a good servant but you know <laughs> otherwise he's great gilgamesh archer and obviously like gilgamesh caster is you know what can i say like, perfect in every way in each and every way morally like in all like you know which, whichever way you would judge him gilgamesh caster is the best so yeah like I, i feel like i've been talking about him for like five minutes god damn like when i start talking about him i can't stop <laughs> okay I, I'll, <laughs> i'll probably end this video here <laughs> and uh, okay so um yeah this was gilgamesh archer so uh yeah from the next video i'm like you know the, the next video I'm, i'll continue with this uh we are currently at 77 20 more servants left so it'll take me one or two more days i'm not sure but yeah i'm going to like you know end this uh in the near future so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed help me get to 1k subscribers we are so close and uh, yeah and comment down below you know anything you want to say uh like uh your opinions about this and which servant you love the most obviously <laughs> out of all these like gilgamesh is obviously <laughs> you know my preference so you know <laughs> but uh yeah so anyways so yeah thank you guys for watching i see you guys in the next part of this video and i'll probably be uploading it within one or two days uh you know the usual date that i upload my fgo videos uh in my timeline is wednesday when i upload you know so it'll be like and today when I, like you know when i'm be, I'll, i'll be uploading the, this it'll be it's monday so in my time zone so it'll be like two more days after two more days i'll be uploading the next part of this video which will probably be the end or i might have to do another video i'm not sure but yeah let's just wait for it so yeah so see you guys then uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day